everyone that's living the good life and it's a kind of a mixed up haul for you. Um, I've got some mid-century, I've got some jewelry and a little bit of vintage Christmas so I want to get to it and show you all about it. So on Friday, pouring rain, went out to the sale at about 11.30 and um, they were really ready to make some deals. So in the garage was Christmas where it usually is and I found this Atlantic Mold candle holder and uh, it had a little boo-boo right here. There's a little broken piece of holly, but uh, for one dollar, my friend was happy to get it. I'm gonna pan over, and we also found this little reindeer. We need your help on this. Do you all know what mold this is? Anything about it? Um, there was supposed to have been something here, and he, he doesn't have any mark on the bottom, as you can see. Well, it's harder to see in the, but there's a hole down in there. So we can't figure out what he was holding. Uh, if you all know, we'd love to find out, but I got him for a dollar as well. And at the house where I got all the jewelry that was in the chest of drawers that I kept digging front through in my last video, I found this Sirocco two plaques, and everything there was $15. So I showed you all the jewelry, so I guess um, these items were probably about two fifty, you know, something around $2 for this pair. And then $2 for this pair. This is a Seasons Cupid set. And I think these are, yeah, what is that? Uh, 50, 69, 1969 Dart, as you can see. So there are four of those. So that would make these about $3 for all four. And I'll kind of pan up here so you can see. So those were fun. Uh, also, um, I got stamps. I am, I am on the hunt for stamps. I just get such a kick out of finding all these stamps. And you know, stamps are going up again uh, in January of 2023. I think it's going up three cents, so it'd be 63 cents. So whenever I can find these stamps, they're next to nothing. There's like $19 worth of stamps here. And um, I, just, I just have such a blast. And then I figure out how much, you know, uh, it takes to get 63, 60 cents worth of stamps on a, on a, uh, uh, on an envelope. So here's some other. Uh, I got these at the house that I got all the other vintage glasses about two videos ago. When I had those three um, sugar, uh, salt, pepper, flour kitchen set from the Art Deco from the 30s or 40s. So these were there as well. I just couldn't fill everything on the table. I got this eight piece set for twenty dollars, and these are Jeanette. Not worth as much as I thought, but they are just so pretty. So fun. So there those are. And I think those turned out to be about 17 because she ended up giving me something else. I don't know, for almost nothing. Um, and these, I went to a sale. It was supposed to start at 1 o'clock. People were having their own estate sale and pulling things out in the front yard. And they weren't ready at 1 o'clock, but they wouldn't let you in the house. So you had to keep waiting for them to pull stuff out on the yard. They finally, um, there weren't very many people there. They let myself and another gentleman go in and have a look if we promised not to touch anything. And I asked about these and another set of vintage glasses in the bar. They wanted to keep the others, but they were happy to get rid of these. And these were the good ones. This is a Bull and Bear um, New York American Stock Exchange, New York Stock Exchange vintage glasses. I don't know who makes them but so neat. There are six of them, and I got them for $10. And then lastly, here is the, um, some of the jewelry that I got at that last sale out of the chest of drawers. You may have seen my short asking which one is gold, and you all need to figure that out too. So uh, this was the initial one. Had a little um, stone in it. This is a um, little pendant. with chain. There's a little airplane lapel pin. I, he had a lot of airplane things. I think he may have been a pilot. And then a little starburst. Now, the starburst is sterling, as you would expect. The lapel pin is nothing. It's just, um, just plain lapel. This uh, pin that's base metal. This one is sterling, 925 with a gold wash. The necklace is nothing. The winner is this lapel pin. It is 14 karat gold with a diamond chip. So I hope you guessed right. If you all know anything, I'd love to learn from you and I'd really appreciate your subscription. Take care. Bye-bye.